Hi everyone out there in YouTube land. So I am back with a Dollar Tree Halloween haul. Um, as you probably guessed, Halloween is just about my favorite holiday. And I do love Dollar Tree, but I haven't been there in a long time because when I moved to my new apartment from my old apartment, Dollar Trees aren't as prevalent as they were in my new neighborhood like they were in my old neighborhood. So anyway, um, but I did find a Dollar Tree about six miles away. And I found some really cool Halloween-y stuff, even though the people, you know, the neighborhood that it was in was kind of a crappy neighborhood, and the people that work there kind of look like they hate life. But, you know, if I had to be at a Dollar Tree working at 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning, I probably wouldn't look too enthusiastic either. So anyway, let me stop yakking and start showing. Because the sooner I do this video, the sooner I can finish my Halloween decorating. So at Dollar Tree, not everything is a dollar. There are things that are a little more expensive. There are things that are cheaper. So let me show you all the stuff I got, and I'll tell you the prices. And for everything in this haul, it came out to roughly $16.53. So the first thing that I picked up is this really super cute pumpkin garland, which I'm going to wrap around my banister going down my stairs. I think it's really adorable. They had other kinds, you know, like with ghosts and spiders and stuff, but I wanted to stick with the more traditional Halloween-y look. So this was $3. I don't know if I mentioned that. Anyway, so then the next thing I got is really going to look, um, is going to either really look cute or look really cheap and tacky. So I picked two of these up. These are chair covers. Um, they were a dollar each. See, they're made out of felt. That's kind of what it looks like there. Actually, so I got two of them. Let me open it up and show you what it looks like because, yeah, okay. <laughs> so you can see. Um, so these were a dollar. I saw somebody had done a Dollar Tree haul and they had shown some of this stuff and that made me really want to go and pick up some of it. So anyway, and I think this fits most chairs and my chairs are not that big. <laughs> It kind of looks like I'm going to turn my chair into a, a pumpkin lollipop. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And so you put these on the backs of your chairs. And they're they're not made very well. I mean, they're kind of like, um, I don't know, what you would expect for a dollar. So I get to try those out, and then I'll show you how they look during my mini apartment tour that I'm going to be doing um, eventually. So then the next thing that I picked up was also a dollar. And I think I'm going to put this in my kitchen. It's this little broom and it says witchful thinking. So I thought that was really cute and I think it'll look cute hanging up in the kitchen. So I got that and then the next thing that I got, I got some cards. I got some Halloweeny cards. These were uh, two for, a, <clears throat> I just got a frog. These were two for a dollar so I got four of each. Um, and the people that I'm going to be sending these to, they, you, they don't watch my channel, so it's not like I'm going to spoil the surprise. So the first one that I got, I love this one. I didn't see it for the first. Isn't it cute? It's got a little pug on it. kind of looks like Malcolm. So it says, it's trick or treat time. Isn't that cute? And then on the inside it says, hope it's happy, hope it's fun, hope your candy weighs a ton. No matter how you celebrate, hope your Halloween is great. So... For two for a dollar, <laughs> so this is 50 cents, it's not bad, it's really cute. Um, okay, so then the second one that I picked up four of is this other one that's more of like a funny card. And that's what it looks like. And it says, uh, can't you smell Halloween in the air? And then on the inside it says, it must be that distinct aroma of rotting eggs, smashed pumpkins, and flaming bags of dog poop. I've sure missed it. Happy Halloween. So I'm sure my friends who I'm sending this to will get a kick out of that. So I got all these cards. And then the next thing um, that I picked up was, um, what should I show? I'll show you this because then I could tell you more about how the people that work at Dollar Tree hate life and they hate their customers. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, well, I used to work retail and I, I had gotten to the point where I hated my customers too. So nothing against Dollar Tree people. I, I feel your pain. But anyway, so I got this statue thing and it says, stay scary. It's like a tombstone. It's really cute. So it was a dollar. So the bottom is kind of broken and they only had two left and they were both. This, it, this is not how it's supposed to look. The other one, it was broken in like a different way. So I went up to the cash register and I said to the woman, is it supposed to look like that? And she's like, Shh, I don't know. 
I was, <laughs> so I was like, okay for a towel, I don't care. Because um, when you put it up, you can't really see it. It's the bottom that's broken. So anyway, stay scary. So the next thing that I picked up is this, uh, that was a dollar. This was a dollar too. Um, this is a scarf and it's got pumpkins. I don't know if I'm going to wear it or if I'm going to make Malcolm wear it. We'll have to see. Because it's kind of a flimsy scarf. Um, but it's cute. And I think Malcolm will look cute wearing it. So I probably, it'll probably be more for him um, than for me. So let me just, I'll try it on so you can see how ridiculous and cheap it looks. So, yeah, well, it doesn't look so bad. I mean, if you just like have it, you know, obviously if you're wearing like an orange shirt or something, it won't look so bad. So anyway, they had other designs. They had like ghosts and things and stuff. But like, like I said, I like the traditional Halloween-y looking items. So the next thing that I got is this sign. I got these two signs. I'll show you the my second favorite and then my first favorite. So this one, this was a dollar. And this is pretty, I mean, it's cardboard, but it's pretty sturdy. So this is the first one. And it has a little rope. Um, this will probably go on my front door. And it says, the crossbones in. Beware all who enter. Witches brew, spicy bat wings, fried spiders, scary skull surprise. Broom service available. Come and stay forever. So that's really cute. Um, then this one I like even better. I think I'm going to hang this in my kitchen. Or I might hang it in my bedroom because my bedroom is like black and hot pink. And I just put up, if you watched my last video, a little... Uh, wooden block that says the witch is in so I probably would use this maybe in there and it's this is what it looks like and it says witch's way deadly desserts cauldron cakes putrid pudding apple spite apple spider ice cream so yeah this is really cute I really like that and for a dollar you can't beat it so the last thing that I got is actually what I specifically went to Dollar Tree for. So I had seen somebody haul this and I really wanted it. There are these nesting nesting boxes. So I got the one with Dracula on it. This is what they look like. It's got like a spider, it's a little skeleton. Okay. So anyway, they're nesting boxes. Now the video that I watched of the person who hauled this. They had separated the nesting boxes from each other. These are nesting boxes. There's boxes inside of boxes. That's what they are. And she said at her store, they separated them. At my store, I, they gave me all the nesting boxes. I mean, this is how they were. It's not like I put them inside each other. There were different varieties. This is the only one that I liked, the Dracula one. They had Frankenstein. They had the Wolfman, but they were, eh. So, yeah, this was a dollar for all the nesting boxes. So let's see how many there are in there. So... One nesting box, two nesting boxes, three nesting boxes, wow, four nesting boxes, four nesting boxes for a dollar. That's really cute. And you could put candy and such in there, and I really like them. So I kind of feel bad that she got screwed because she paid a dollar for one, and I got four for a dollar. Um, but I don't think, like I said, I don't give, think the people at... Dollar Tree much care for or about anything that's going on in that store. Um, so now comes the night, the the fun part, trying to put the nesting boxes back together. Okay. All right, I've put the nesting boxes back together. Okay, there they are. So yeah. Now the the thing, the other thing that she got that I really loved. Um, but that I was not able to find is they had treat boxes, I guess, um, shaped like coffins. So they were like this type of thing, but it was coffin shaped and it had whatever design on the outside. And then when you opened it, the, the inside of the coffin, the bottom actually had like a body in it. Like one was a mummy or you opened up another coffin and one was Dracula. Anyway, it was um, really cute stuff. So they had a, a lot of interesting things. Now the... Um, the person whose video I watched, she her store had a much better selection. 
and she does her windows and things. I've never watched her channel before. I just happened to um, find this one particular video. I'll link it down below just in case you guys are interested in seeing what she picked up and the what the other nesting boxes look like and what the little coffin boxes look like. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, which I forgot to tell you in my last video, is that I found this really cool documentary on the origins of Halloween. Um, and I'm going to link that uh, down below in the description box because I just think it's really fascinating how all these traditions came about and how they've evolved over so many years. So yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree halloween -y haul. If you did, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!